It's wild. It's outrageous. It's outrageously funny. For hockey fans, the 70s movie Slapshot is kind of like the Stanley Cup of great singing. I'm a star! The tale of rough and tumble on the ice. The kind of small town hockey that Jim Edgeworth used to play. There's no one to stop it because there are no officials on the ice. What has come over the Charlestown Chiefs? But now he's in a different kind of fight. A divorce from his wife Donna after 38 years. And lucky him. He ended up in Judge James Lombardino's courtroom. I'm James Lombardino. I'm honored to be the judge of your 308 Family District Court. Now his wife's choice of lawyers got our attention. It's Joe and Delicato. Almost six months into the divorce case, Joe and Delicato already wanted Mr. Edgeworth to cough up his legal fees, $50,000. Lindsey Shore Jr. was Mr. Edgeworth's lawyer. Within days, he sent a subpoena to Indelicato. Prove you've earned the money. In Delicato's response, the subpoena was, quote, harassing and annoying. Annoying to ask to see your legal bills? Just three weeks later, Indelicato was back before Judge Lombardino again. And now he wanted $100,000 more. Judge Lombardino granted $70,000 in legal fees and never even bothered to ask to see the proof Indelicato had earned it. That's where Judge Lombardino crossed the ethical line. For a guy who's asking voters to let him keep wearing that black robe. Okay, guys, show us what you got. <laughs> we know that Joe Indelicato was the lawyer for the judge's son in his divorce case, hired back in May of 2016. You know how David Lombardino found Indelicato in the first place? We do. So does the judge. Judge? How would you like me to refer to you today? Uh, however you like. Would judge be good? Yeah, it's fine. In a deposition given under oath, subject to penalty of perjury, Judge Lombardino admits he was the one who suggested Indelicato. Did you refer your son to Joe Indelicato? I suggested some attorneys, and that was one of them. And I think we had lunch and Joe was available, so, and he went to see Joe. We also now know that Indelicato gave little Lombardino a little break in the price. Dolce Fino Consulting has the contract David Lombardino signed with Indelicato. The $500 an hour fee scratched out. It shows little Lombardino got a $100 an hour discount. That adds up quick. You might call that a favor for the judge, but Judge Lombardino doesn't. Did you ask Mr. Mr. Indelicato to reduce his fee per hour as a favor to you? Oh. Okay. Um, do you know what Mr. If you want to do me a favor, he could not charge. But <laughs> Maybe so, but Judge Lombardino didn't bother to ever disclose the Indelicato connection in his courtroom. Or that Indelicato was still owed $86,000 from the divorce case as of February 2018. That's about the same time Donna Edgeworth hired Indelicato to represent her in front of Judge Lombardino. Wonder if she knew. Since Judge Lombardino doesn't seem to get this whole ethics thing, here's the problem. It would be fair to ask if Judge Lombardino was helping Indelicato get fees in the Edgeworth case, because Indelicato could be now suing his son for non-payment of fees in his divorce case. Judge Lombardino just filed his last campaign report before the November election. And boy, the Indelicato family has been good to the judge. $15,600 since Lombardino's first election. And Joe isn't the only one tossing cash into Lombardino's campaign coffers. Joe's daughter, Ashley Indelicato, donates lots of money too. In fact, she's been one of Judge Lombardino's biggest contributors in the last year, 5,600 bucks since June of 2017. Ashley shares an office with her dad on West Alabama. Within weeks of getting her law license in November 2015, she started getting court appointments from Judge Lombardino. 18 court appointments just in Lombardino's court alone. Maybe Judge Lombardino doesn't know how this looks to the average Joe. 
Lombardino helps Indelicato's daughter. Indelicato helps the judge's son. Got it? And uh, there's a penalty for that? Yeah. Uh, and for a trip also, you know, oh. like that. Mm -hmm. And for hook like this. And uh, for spear, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. All bad. Bad. The real penalty for this infraction could come election day. Judge Lombardino has already been asked to recuse himself in three cases this year. The Houston Chronicle has questioned his fairness on the bench. They want you to vote him out. Okay, did you ask him if he can afford Mr. Indelicato? I'm sorry? Did you ask him if he can afford Mr. Indelicato? No. Lombardino gave his deposition on Monday, January 9th, 2017. Guess who we met the Friday before his sworn testimony? Uh, when did you meet? I think I met with him after the temporary order hearing. Okay. And I met with them uh, Friday at lunch. This past Friday? Yes, ma'am. Oops. The judge expensed that pre-deposition meeting with his son's divorce lawyer to his political campaign. And it was a fancy downtown restaurant, Brennan's. Look at the bill. Here's what should happen. Joe and Delicato should now be required to show Jim Edgeworth what he's really done for all the money he's been paid. All lawyers should. That's only fair. And when a judge asks a lawyer to help his son out of the penalty box, you shouldn't have to remind him to disclose it. This is family court. Lives are at stake. And justice, well, it's not supposed to be some kind of game. Please, get out of my face, would you? The Chiefs are at home tonight against Cyanusport at the War Memorial at 8. Good seats are still available. I think that went very well.